Hi there, time for our latest uh, Max Attacks video. Um, this time we've got week two of the Richard v Jack um, score predictor battle. The current score from last week is Jack is on 38 points, I'm on 31. Um, I got more uh, correct scores than Jack. I only managed to pick um, scores of four of the goals. Jack managed to get scores of six of the goals. Um, so obviously you get one point per um, correct score, three points for an exact score, and correct, I mean correct score, one point is for getting the right result, three points for the correct score, and five points if one of your goal scorers manages to score. Um, so Jack has a seven point lead after week one. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll do our predictions for this week. The first game up tomorrow is we've got Bournemouth against Sunderland. Um, I have put this one down as a 1-0 win to Bournemouth. Bournemouth seem to be a lot better at home than they do on the road. And again, Sunderland are struggling. I can't see a lot of goals in this, but I think Bournemouth will probably nick it um, with a 1-0. Um, so that's going to be my prediction for this one. I'm going to go a 1-0. Yeah, that's my prediction for this team. Okay, yeah, so I've gone 1-0, Jack's gone 1-0. In the second game of the week, we've got Burnley at home to Crystal Palace. Um, Burnley, again, another team that on their day can pull off some pretty good results. Obviously, holding Man United to 0-0 last week was a pretty good result for them. And Crystal Palace are one of those teams that could just as easily win 3-0 as they could lose 3-0. Um, I think this is going to be one of Crystal Palace's positive weekends and I think probably Ben Teke um, is probably due a goal and with players like Kabai in your team as well you're always going to create a few so I'm going to put this down as a 1-3 so 1 to Burnley, 3 to Crystal Palace so Crystal Palace win I'm going to go 2-1 to Crystal Palace so 1-2 for Jack in the third game we have Manchester City against Middlesbrough obviously Manchester City off the back of their 3-1 win over Crystal Palace, uh, over Barcelona, are going to be um, full of confidence. Um, and Middlesbrough, again, a team, obviously, just that have come up from the Championship last season. I'm going to put this one down as a 3-0. And I'm also going to play one of my goal scorer cards. I'm going to put De Bruyne in. Um, oh. De Bruyne tends to be one of those players who um, sort of holds everything together. And Manchester City do really miss him when he's not playing. So I fancy him for at least one goal. I'm going to put it down as a 3-0 and I'm also going to use one of my goal scorer cards. I'm going to use Sergio Aguero because last week he scored quite a couple of goals for me which that's part of the reason that I won. Yep. Okay, so we've both gone 3-0 and obviously we both used one of our goal scorer cards. Then we've got West Ham against Stoke. Um, West Ham again, obviously at home, struggling since they've moved to the London Stadium or the Olympic Stadium. Um, but I fancy that they're going to um, have a positive result in this one. Stoke, also I saw Arnautovic um, hobble off um, in the last game. So whether he's going to be fit or not, he's one of the players that sort of holds everything together. And he's a big, not Arnautovic, um, Shakiri. Shakiri. Um, so I think, obviously without him, that may well be a big miss if he's not fit. So I'm going to put this one down as a 2-1 to West Ham. I'm going to put it down as a 1-0. Yep, so again, conflicting results there. Then we've got Chelsea at home to Everton. Um, obviously Chelsea doing pretty well. Everton again, another team that um, have been doing reasonably well this season, obviously with the new manager and Lukaku finding the back of the net fairly regularly. I'm going to put this one down as a 1-0 because I think they both teams have got reasonably solid defences. Um, so yeah, I think probably a goal apiece. In this one. I'm going to say 2-0 and I reckon my goal scorer will be Eden Hazard because last week he has another card that got me some goals and that's the main reason why I put him in the team. And he has been having a much better season, pretty much the form he was in a couple of seasons ago. Obviously, if we get last season where he didn't have too much of an impact. Then moving on to Sunday, we have five games again on Sunday as well. We've got the North London derby there, Arsenal against Tottenham. Um, obviously, I'm an Arsenal fan, so um, maybe a little bit biased, but I think on current form, and um, particularly after Tottenham struggled at Wembley, um, I think I'm going to put this one down as a 3-1 to Arsenal, and I'm also going to put uh, Theo Walcott as a scorer 
in this one. I'm gonna put this score down as two two, but I'm gonna try and say that Alexis Sanchez will score. Okay, so three one to me and two two to Jack. And again, we both use one of our goal scorer cards. And then we've got Hull against Southampton. Um, I'm going to put this one down as a two nil to no a one two a Hull scoring one Southampton scoring two. Um, I fancy Southampton will probably nick this again. Hull again got off to a reasonably good start, but have struggled of late. Um, so I think Southampton will probably just nick this one two one. I will say three one clearly <coughs> because they might have a boost from the win that they won yesterday. So 3-1 to Hull or 3-1 to Southampton? 3-1 to Southampton. So 1-3 the score. So Jack's going 1-3 to Southampton. Then in the third game on Sunday, we have Liverpool at home to Watford. Um, again, Liverpool having a really good season so far. So I've put, put this one down as a 2-0 win to Liverpool. And I'm going to put a Mane um, score a card in for here. Um He's been a bit of a revelation since he's um, come to this country, obviously initially with Southampton, and he's sort of continued his form at Liverpool. I think he's probably due a goal, so we'll go 2-0 Liverpool and a Mane goal or two. I'm going to go 2-1 as a score to Liverpool. OK, so Jack's gone 2-1. Then we have Southam um, Swansea against Manchester United. Um, I'm going to go for a Man United victory. 2-1, uh, so 1-2 on the scoreline. Um, I think sooner or later Mourinho and the team he's got need to sort of start getting things back on track. Um, Swansea have been struggling a little bit, so I think um, it's probably not a bad place for Manchester United to start um, a little bit of a run. And I'm going to put Ibrahimovic down as a goal scorer. Previously in the last video, again, I uh, mentioned that he scores averagely a game, one every two goals, and he's been a little while before he scored. Uh, since he scored his last goal, so I think he must be due one. So we'll put him down as a scorer in this game. I'm going to go two one to Manu, and I'm going to go one matter to the score. Okay, so here we go. And the final match for the weekend, we've got Leicester against West Brom. Um, Leicester, obviously, after last season, um, not quite living up to the same standards from last season. Again, West Brom, one of those teams that. Um, normally quite dogged, but not brilliantly creative and not a lot of flair going forward. So I think I'm going to put this down as a 1-0. Leicester managed to keep clean sheets because obviously they set up very defensively um, to sort of negate um, every team they play against. So I'm going to put this down as a 1-0. And I'm going to put Vardy down as a goal scorer. Obviously Vardy hasn't scored too much this season, um, so he must be due a goal. So I think I'm going to put Vardy down. I'm going to... Also put Jamie Vardy down to score, but I'm going to go 2-0 Leicester. OK, so that's obviously the scores we've got um, this week. Like I say, Jack's um, currently seven points ahead in our little challenge. Um, so let's see how things go this week. Please like, subscribe, check out the other videos. Also check out the video um, where you can win the signed um, Hazard match attacks card and the signed shirt. Please like, share and we'll see you soon.